Welcome to my chit chat kitchen. My name is Ina and here I'm going to talk with you about breast cancer, sexuality, relationships and self-esteem and who knows maybe some other topics but it will all depend on you. What are you interested in and what would you like to hear from me? Um, so a little introduction and explanation why I'm doing this project. So I'm a breast cancer survivor. Two years ago I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I went through all the treatment and now I am healthy and hopefully this shit will never come back. And um, so there were two events uh, last year that prompted me to start this YouTube channel. So first event in January my ex-partner uh, broke up with me. It was very hard for me not only because of the actual breakup but because uh, during my breast cancer treatment he didn't try to connect with me on the emotional level. He was great with like all the operational stuff, bringing me to the hospital, um, cooking for me, helping me with, I don't know, walking to the toilet and stuff like that. But uh, he did not connect on the emotional level and that was really, really hard. So that created a huge gap between us. And then when he broke up with me, he added uh, that he didn't have enough sex with me, which made this breakup um, much harder for me uh, because I started feeling uh, very low and very negative about myself in general. So it kind of amplified on top of all of the breast cancer damage that my body and my mind experienced. So all the scars that, I, uh, that, that were left on my body and also emotional scars. So that was the reason number one. And then in August last year, I was laid off um, just before the end of my probation period. And actually, as I woke up next, the, the following mon morning after the layoff, I thought that there is a story that I can tell. Um, I went through this not very easy path of being a breast cancer patient and um, kind of coping with this harsh breakup. Um, I mended myself, I put myself together um, through different experiences and I'm just hoping that by telling my story I can help somebody to reconnect with their body the same way I reconnected with mine because in the end um, yeah we are here to support each other so something I didn't know when I embarked on this breast cancer treatment journey is that I knew a lot of the um, health implications that um, this treatment would have on me but none of the doctors mentioned that my sexuality and my psychological emotional states would be also impacted this I had to learn during my recovery. Of course, um, it sounds kind of obvious, like yes, you go through chemo, then you have a hormonal treat, like uh, you go through treatment that blocks your hormones. So that's only natural that you will feel different. Uh, but of course, when I was undergoing the treatment, I was in this survival mode and I was thinking only about day-by-day -day things like um, eating well, uh, walking, like continue doing some basic uh, daily routines that made me grounded. But I didn't think that it would have such a strong implication on my sex life, sexuality in general and my emotional state. So. First of all, as many women who go through breast cancer, um, I have vaginal atrophy, um, especially after the end of, like towards the end of chemotherapy, um, I felt extreme dryness in my vagina. I could not have penetrative sex. It felt like somebody stick a knife in my vagina. So this pain was just so bad that I could not imagine um, having a normal sex life again. So this, for example, my oncologist 
or um, yeah, any other doctor didn't mention. So I had to go through this myself and then figure out and then ask my oncologist like, hey, that's what is happening. And then they said, yes, actually, indeed, <laughs> that's what is happening. Here's the cream. But I wanted uh, a more, a, a deeper uh, treatment. I wanted a more holistic view on the issue, not just a cream to put uh, inside my vagina. Um, I also had insomnia as a result of, uh, so combined result of breast cancer treatment and a hormonal treatment with, which put me in um, induced menopause. Um, so yes, I suffered from insomnia, hot flashes and yeah, like all the pleasures of uh, menopausal kind of life that many uh, women probably know about. So I wanted to understand these issues also on a more holistic level. So there were a lot of different bits and pieces um, which were the result of chemo and hormonal treatment that I wasn't aware of and like none of the doctors told me about this. So least the problems with my self-esteem and uh, the image I had about like of myself, the idea about new me that I had after all of these surgeries and heart treatment. Um, I really felt like I was broken, I felt like I was damaged and nobody would ever, um, at least like speaking about the romantic context, um, I didn't think anybody would ever want to be intimate with me, to look at me, to touch me. I didn't feel right myself. So all of these issues, um, like, yeah, I would repeat myself, but nobody told me about this. So I had to discover them little by little as I walked the path. And then I also uh, connected to different online support groups and forums and I understood that I was not the only one, that a lot of women go through same issues um, and regardless the country where they live, it seems like there is a lack of information about all of this um, sexuality and uh, psychological support for breast cancer patients and women who recover af like after breast cancer. So I hope I made it a little bit clear about why I'm running this channel. As I continue filming these videos day by day, I hope to improve in the way I present the information I want to present and that um, you will help me to also um, understand the topics that are interesting to you and that you may find relevant. So please drop a comment down below. And um, I also have an Instagram account where I talk about similar issues. You can find the link down there too. And last but not least, please um, subscribe to my channel and like this video. This will help the YouTube algorithm to promote my channel and push it to those who may be interested in the content of this channel. So uh, yeah, I'm calling this my kitchen chit chat. Uh, maybe the format will be slightly different as the time goes by, but um, I hope that you can find some information on this channel interesting. Bye now!